grass and are also home to bats, monkeys, and other species. There are also a number of salt lakes in the forest. Two of these are still actively used by many wild animals, such as the elephant, gar, tapir, and sambar. The forest is blessed with many streams and waterfalls. The largest river in the forest is the Megatha River that flows westward into the sanctuary from Thailand's Tunyai Nataswan Forest. In addition to elephants, the Megatha Forest is also home to a wide diversity of other species. Some of the animals the research team captured on film include the guar, Asia's largest wild cattle, the munchak, the white-handed gibbon, the langur, the stump-tailed macaque, the black giant squirrel, the crab-eating mongoose, the otter, the sambar, the sunda pangolin, the common civet, tapir dung and footprints, bear claw marks, the black terrapin, the Malayan softshell turtle, the water monitor lizard, the clouded monitor lizard, the great horned bear, the brown horned bear, the oriental pied horned bear, the silver pheasant, the banded kingfisher, the little cuckoo dove, the Blythe's river frog, and the Masio fish species. Although the Megatha forest is a diverse and relatively intact ecosystem, 22 of the 60 species identified in field surveys were found to be threatened. Among the indigenous megafauna, the endangered Asian elephant is still struggling to survive and faces a number of threats. Despite the ban on hunting and capturing wild elephants in the Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary, elephant calf capturing is still a major threat to the wild elephant population. During the course of the field surveys, the research team encountered wild elephant theft. This man was found setting up elephant traps and pitfalls in the forest in an attempt to capture wild elephants and sell them to Thailand or China. Poaching and wildlife trading are serious threats to the animals of Megatha. Sometimes local villagers have been caught poaching, but more often than not it is outsiders such as migrant hunters, local militia, and Burmese military units who are involved. Poachers usually try to sell their illegally caught goods on the black market. Mining causes massive environmental damage for both the local villagers and for the forest. Currently there are two antimony mines on the western boundary of the sanctuary. There is a serious risk of these mining activities encroaching into the Megatha forest. Logging has been banned in the sanctuary since 1989. But starting in 2008, the Burmese military began granting logging concessions to Burmese companies in Dublaya district. The Karen Forest Department allowed the companies to only log dead trees and only within their concession area. However, in 2008-2009, the Duplaya Wildlife Research Team found evidence of burned and girdled trees inside the Megatha Sanctuary. Indiscriminate burning